Hey guys, how you doing today? It's your girl, Miss Debs. I know you haven't seen me in a while. Um, I just been taking care of some health issues, but I have received this KitchenAid um, from my kids for Christmas. So a lot of you guys, when I showed it as one of my gifts that I received for Christmas, you was like, um, Miss Debs, I would like to see what you're going to do and what you're going to make with your KitchenAid. So today, my first attempt is to make some butter. Now, you know, your girl like to make cakes, pastries bread pizza but today i'm going to tackle this butter thing i've seen a couple of my youtubers doing it a while back and it's something that i always wanted to do so i'm going to show you guys sorry about that so i'm going to show you guys so we're going to get this started i'm going to put my attachment here on my kitchen aid i'm winging it guys i never did this before so i'm going to try okay so i'm going to add my paddle this up a little bit. You don't need to see my face right now. We're going to try to go into this. So the first thing you're going to do Okay, guys, so as you can see, it's going, right? I speeded it up to medium high after two minutes. And it says, um, at the minute, then increase speed to medium high. After about two minutes, the cream will lose its bellowing um, smoothness. It starts to become a bit rough. Between four and five minutes, it'll start to separate. When you see this, bear with me. I've written all this down. Okay, when you see this happening, quickly drape a kitchen towel over the mixer or risk getting a buttermilk bath. Once the butter and buttermilk has completely separated and settled in the bottom of the bowl, stop the mixer. The last time is four to five minutes. So I'm gonna look in here. So I'm gonna let you guys see it. Bear with me. Okay, as you can see, guys, it's almost turning into a consistency like whipped cream. Not quite yet, but it's getting there. So once we get it to that point, I'm sorry for the noise, I'll come back when it starts separating, okay? All right, I'll be back. Okay, guys, so what I did now, I put on a towel on top. Even though I have the, um, the guard on top of it, I noticed some of the solution, like they said, was trying to come out. So we're gonna, I'm going to show you once it comes to that consistency where it starts to separate. And I'm going to show you beforehand when it starts looking like Cool Whip, okay? Now, guys, I'm showing you. I had to. Ch I had on a paddle. I should have had on a whisk. But that's okay. I changed it. We got everything back getting together. So now you see it's turning into a heavy whip, right? And then it's going to start separating. And I'm going to show you that, okay, guys? <gasps> Miss Dez is making butter. I'm so excited. So we're going to let it keep going to that till it starts turning into like a water. And, it, and you can actually see where the cream is separating. It's getting to that bellowy type stage, okay? Sorry for the noise, but hey, I'm making butter. <laughs> so now, guys, you see how this look? Look, we're going to take that back down a little longer, and then you're going to start seeing it separate, okay? Okay, so now, guys, you're going to see the other part start to separate where the fat is starting to separate. And it's going to be liquid at the bottom, and then we're going to put cold water in to get rid of the, um, until the water turns completely white, clear, and then you know you got all the buttermilk out, and that is, let your um, butter last longer in the refrigerator. And you can use the buttermilk to bake or anything like that. Be right back. So now the buttermilk is definitely separating from the butter fat. You can see all the water like splashing up on the side. So I'm going to show you when I put the um, 
cold water in to start draining and separating the fat from the butter, from the uh, the buttermilk from the butter. Guys, your girl has made butter. You see the buttermilk down in the bottom and you see the solid of the butter on the side. So now I'm going to get all that out. Then I'm going to um, add water to the bowl so we can uh, separate the buttermilk from the butter fat. I am so, thank you, Father God. I am so proud of myself. Okay, guys, so we're going to take it over to the sink and we're going to rinse this stuff off. Look at that. Look at that buttermilk and that butter. <laughs> Okay, guys, so you can see the saran papers on the bottom, and I have the parchment here. Now I'm going to form. Guys, uh, this is the butter right here. I have it in a container. I have some parchment paper just to hold its shape, and that is the butter your girl made. And I've added a little sea salt, a little more uh, coarse sea salt that my daughter recommended. So this is it. So this will last in the refrigerator a good two weeks. But I extracted a, lot, uh, extracted a lot of the buttermilk out, so it might last longer. It is delicious, guys. And that's the little butter dish I got from Amazon. I'll leave the description in my link. I'll leave the link in my description so you can order it, okay? Try it, guys. Let me know, have you ever made your own butter? Are you thinking about trying it? And remember, once it gets to that uh, consistency where it becomes solid, you can add like honey to it, garlic, anything to make the type of butter you want to make it. Thank you guys for joining your girl. Bye. Okay, guys, so my toast is about to come out. <laughs> Got Mickey Mouse on. All right, let's try this butter that your girl has made. I got me some Dave's Killer Bread, which is one of my favorite breads. Got my butter. The kids have been enjoying it. My grandbaby Nyla tried it. She couldn't get enough of it. So this made like um, two sticks. I would say a little over two sticks because this container is pretty, this dish is pretty thick. So let me let you see all that. You see they've been rocking that butter already. So I just had it out the refrigerator and I told you guys my refrigerator gets pretty cold. Okay, guys, so I'm so excited. I'm sorry about the light back there. Now, like I said in the video, I ordered this from Amazon. I'm going to put the link in my description. Okay, so guys, here we go. Oh, look at that. Fresh butter. And I put some um, coarse kosher salt in it. Oh, look at that. Here we go, guys. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, my God. That is so nice and creamy. And I had... Mmm. Oh, my God. Fresh butter, guys. You feel like you accomplished something when you do this, you know? So, sorry for talking my food in my mouth. My daughter was like, Mom, it tastes delicious, creamy, buttery. But put a little more salt in it so you know me with salt. So after I finished washing the butter and made sure the Water came out clear. The ice water, you put the ice water through a strainer so your ice pieces won't fall into the butter. And you keep washing the butter. And after you do that, and the water's clear, look at that, look at that. 
That's something I made with my own hands. Well, the mixer. Mmm. Guys, thank you for joining me. Your girl took close to almost a week and a half off. I'm still not debating when I'm coming back quite yet. But this was something I have been trying to do. I think this is too adorable. It's ceramic. See, it's hard. And this, I'm going to show you how big the butter is if I can get it out of here because it's been in the refrigerator. Okay, there we go. Look at that. That's a nice size piece of butter. Look. So it's like a rectangle the shape of this. And I just put parchment paper under it. Then put your top back on. Butter knife goes right up there. Mmm. Guys. I was waiting for my doctor to give me my diagnosis. And tomorrow is Monday. Today is Sunday. So once she give me the diagnosis, whatever it says, which I'm having faith in God that it's going to be, for two months I've been waiting for this to unfold. And I'll explain everything to you guys once I get my biopsy results tomorrow. I'll be up either tomorrow, Monday, or Tuesday with this video. God bless you. May heaven smile down upon you. Miss Dabs made some butter. Yes, she did. Mmm, mmm. I never knew butter could taste so good. And it's so fresh and creamy and buttery. It has that nice little kick of sourness, but not too much. You could tell it's fresh. It's not processed.